Why? That's the question. Because we want to know. I mean, you know, yeah. this uh, kind of a, it started off pretty nice this morning, warm, and then drizzle came down. It hasn't stopped since. Is that widespread or just in parts of? It, it was more widespread earlier okay. today. Now it's a lot more scattered in nature, which is certainly good news. And it'll become more and more scattered in nature as we go through the evening and into the overnight. There's the radar, and you can see, yeah, you get south of Fayetteville, the rain stops. You got to get into Scott County, southern Logan County before that rain starts to pick back up again. But we'll, this is what we're going to see the rest of the night. On and off again, showers, sprinkles, some drizzle. But what everybody will see is what you're seeing here, and that is these uh, low-hanging clouds, drizzling, misty conditions. Unfortunately, right now in Springdale, just 57. Yeah, humidity 100%. Not surprising there. Light winds out of the east at 8. Elsewhere across northwest Arkansas, basically hanging on to the mid-50s or so. River Valley, here's I-540 in Fort Smith. A lot of raindrops on the camera here, but really not impacting traffic too much, where it's also chilly, just 60 degrees uh, in the Fort Smith area. And elsewhere in the River Valley, uh, upper 50s and a few locations hanging on to 60 degrees. So, you know, it, it's kind of chilly and raw uh, today, but that will be changing over the next five days. 60 tomorrow, still on the chilly side, but a slow warming trend into the lower to mid 70s for northwest Arkansas. By the time we get to the middle and latter part of the upcoming week, River Valley, about the same thing. They'll be in the mid to upper 70s. But as we warm up, as we get toward Thursday, Friday and beyond, our rain chances will start to increase yet again. Right now, there's that system continuing to pump moisture and clouds our way. It's going to move toward uh, basically from Texarkana toward about Mountain Home over the next 12 hours or so. You'll see that here with the hour by hour. The models are really overdoing the precipitation in the short term, but you'll see as we go through the rest of the night, it becomes a lot more scattered in nature. There's that area of low pressure up about toward Mountain Home by uh, tomorrow morning, still throwing a couple of sprinkles our way. Tomorrow will be much drier than today was. Maybe a sprinkle or two while you're in bed Sunday night and into Monday, but by the time we get to Monday, system's gone, clears out, sunshine, comfortable temperatures, a great Halloween on tap. 50s tonight, temperatures will go almost nowhere tomorrow, rising a handful of degrees into the lower to mid 60s. And there's the extended forecast. A great Halloween on Monday with the nice peaks of sunshine and clouds. Best day might be Wednesday with the abundant sunshine. Temperatures will be in the 70s. And then as we get toward the latter part of the week, we start to introduce the rain chances. And unfortunately, next weekend, uh, based on what the models are showing us now, it's still a week away, but could be quite wet. We could have more bouts of uh, heavy, heavy rain as we get toward next weekend, Paul, with maybe a front that could stall over the area. So don't put away the raincoat just yet. All right, we'll be ready. Perfect for trick-or-treating, though. And don't forget, kids, bring your extra candy here to Robert and yes. I. We need that.